Hello, hello, my name is Callista and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. In the last episode, we invited some trainers to come to Skyhold. It is finally time for Ionor to pick up a specialization. Now, I want to say that they... they won't attack here? Darkspawn don't think they flow. They burst through stone, cut with their bloody hands, and they never stop. That Corypheus, he's got the face, he's got the corruption, but he's no Darkspawn. He's a thinker. He ain't interested in a fair fight. So if we build it right, he's not coming. You know, I believe you. Oh, I, I said it before. I think they're incredibly sweet. This very nervous woman and this very cocksure dwarf who's like, no, don't worry about it. I've got you. Let me explain to you why that's not going to happen. And again, I'm just, I'm just running around because I know that cold banter should happen in roughly this location. Now then, what I was trying to say before, I do believe that the trainers should be over here someplace. Oh, and we have a codex entry. Don't mind if I do. Hard in Hightown, chapter five. You know what? I'm just tempted to have an episode where I read all of the, the hards in high towns, shall we call them? Because we're going to get them kind of out of order in the game. Would you all be interested in that? Would you all be interested in a little mini episode that, you know, maybe on a, a Tuesday or a Thursday when I don't have a second, you know, upload going up? Would you be interested in a hard in high town reading? I don't know. Strangest thing. Oh. When I reached down, my dagger was gone. Just gone. Now where I found it? In a barrel. The thing was filled to the brim with daggers. Got the strangest feeling. I know someone took it right off my belt, but I can't recall who. Aha! Thank you, sword. I assume it was the sword speaking. Don't question it. Don't question it. Hello, gentlemen. You'll never believe there are some talking swords in there. You might be very interested in it. I recommend giving them a look. Hey, Colin. I could speak to you, but I'm not. I want to get me some specialization. No, oh my God, sir. Sir, be careful. Don't do... I saw what you were about to do, sir. You were about to walk... Not again. Be careful. Your life is precious. There we go. There we go. All he needed was a little bit of encouragement. That's it. No, no not that one. <laughs> sir, please. Please be careful. Don't do it. Oh, God, I hope he's okay. I hope he is gonna be okay. And there we go. We have Breaker Thram, Sir, just Sir, and Lord Chancer de Leon. Let's go right to left, I think. Let's look at you. Right, you'll survive it, maybe. And you are? I'm a Breaker. My name is Thram, and I was not expecting a messenger from this place. The Inquisitor wants to be a Reaver. <laughs> hmm, what is a Berserker, exactly? Your title is Breaker. What is that? It's a name. It serves. You will become a Reaver, or you will break. This is not a road for those who worry about what others think. You want power? Admit it. You have battles to win. If you give a toss about opinion, you can write your own history after you win. Let's not waste time. You've dragons to conquer, infusions to make, and blood to drink. Hmm. Blood to drink, dragons to conquer. Why is this a good discipline? This sounds dangerous. Um, hmm. Yeah, I, this, this sounds weird. I've got to be drinking blood and shit. Pardon? What do you mean by blood? I meant what I said, and it was meant to stop you cold. This way begins and ends with dragon blood. Blood is life. Life is power. It's that simple. Reavers know it. Blood mages know it. All others can debate it in the next world. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm... I'm specifically drinking dragon's blood. 
Dragons are involved. Dragons are the heart of it. The beating heart. We take of the dragon and become more than a mortal with a sword. We become a conduit to power. But we're not mages. Demons reach through but find no purchase. They're a slave to the blade. Your blade. Yeah, this this sounds incredibly dangerous. It seems like there's a lot of risk to this. There's no risk. There's a promise. If you do this, you will change. There is no retirement from this life. But unlike the Grey Warden or the Templar, you don't wither. You'll die when you fail. Until then, glory. The, that does remind me of the, um, the Codex entry we found in the Fallow Maya about one of the kings of Navarra who... Like, I, I think it said he died at, like, 160-something. And, you know, on his... On his last day, he sparred with his great-great-grandson and bested him. And then he took an afternoon nap. And then when the servants arrived to wake him for his afternoon meal, they couldn't rouse him. The Pentagas were famed for their dragon hunting. They drank the blood of dragons. They kind of became reavers. And because of that, you know, they were afforded certain gifts shall we say uh, a longer lifespan you know the the older they got as long as they kept consuming the dragon's blood they would they would still kind of remain young and virile almost but you know every everything has a time limit you can't live forever mm. and i also I, I can't remember if cassandra has mentioned this she might only mention this if you actually become a reaver but i think she also mentioned that um the pentagas they they grew things like scales you know they started becoming more dragony i believe they they had rather nasty tempers obviously cassandra isn't a reaver she is not partaking in the blood of dragons but it is it's very interesting to think about um, yeah, why why is this a good discipline? Why should Ainor choose to become a reaver? What will this allow me to do? Win. Not just victory, but bloody victory. The withering of your enemies will empower. The more they think they prevail, the more you bleed, the more you triumph. You wish to inspire? Inspire terror. Hmm. I'ma leave that there. Okay, thank you, madam. And, I'm uh, not making so this decision now. Well said, Ironor. We have two other people to speak to. Herald, I hear you wish training so you don't embarrass those sworn to you. I'm summoned to offer instruction in the physical aspect of the Templar. I'm Sir. Sir what? Sir. Our time is brief, Herald. I trust you are serious. I thank you, sir. If you're sir, I'm Inquisitor. Just teach me about the Order. No, if, if this is how he trains people, then we should respect that. Sir, I welcome and look forward to your instruction. I've no doubt. Many want to be part of the Order and what it stands for. I don't teach that. The Order. Faith is not where Templar abilities come from. Faith is how Templars endure their abilities. I teach how to deny magics, not fight, not match. Deny, and that lies in lyrium. You will construct a filter, you will suffer its effects, and you will be worthy of inspiration. How you endure will be your own affair. Hmm. What are the risks? What is the filter? Why is this a good discipline? Show me what's involved. I'm not very religious. Um, hmm. Like, he literally just said that he's not teaching the faith. I mean, faith is how Templars endure their abilities, but that really doesn't matter. If you were devoutly Dalish, you could use that faith to endure it. If you were to, if you were devoted to science, you could use that, and so on and so forth. I don't think religion really, you know, I don't think that really matters here. Um, hmm. What exactly is a filter? This filter. Describe it. It is a simple box, or an ornate one. It has simple tools or bejewel. Depends on what you need. You will use it to prepare the daily draft of Lyrian that allows the denial of magic. No one else can do this for you. Soon you won't know you're doing it. It will be a part of you. 
Hmm. And what are the risks? What is it that I will endure? The Inquisition Templars seem fine. Inside you, there is something you don't know you possess. Becoming a Templar will make you keenly aware. You will feel empowered. It is joyous. But once you are accustomed, that something will get hungry. You have never felt this. The Order fights it with brotherhood. I don't know what a Herald has. Hmm. And why is this a good discipline? All right. Tell me what the benefits are. Magic was meant to serve man. This is ensured through the muscle and will of Templars. We deny the mage his magic. We deny the demon its magic. We are the beacon of right on the battlefield. The benefits, Herald, the benefit is control. Hmm. Do I want to ask this or not? I've, I've said this before, at least I, I think I have. I know she is religious in terms of she believes in the elven gods, but she's not she's not particularly devout she's not like the maker doesn't exist there is only elganon and mythal and andrew will and the other guys in the band who callista can't remember at this moment in time but like she wouldn't diminish someone else's beliefs she's not a fanatic like amelia if you believe in something else cool like, it doesn't hurt Ionor. She wouldn't go up to someone and be like, you're fucking stupid and wrong. Your god isn't real. And at the same time, she's not like, everything I do, I do for the elven gods. The elven gods above all. I must pray to them 24-7. Like, religion isn't a big part of Ionor. She believes in the elven gods because that's kind of how she was raised to that's what she was raised to believe but you know she might offer up a prayer to Andrewil or a prayer to Mathal like every once in a while like oh um like there's a bandit encampment on the on the route we have to take there's a pretty good chance that the clan might be attacked Oh, may Mathal look after us. May Mathal keep us safe. But that's it. She's... So, in, in both respects, one, she's not Andrastian. The Templars are Andrastian. But two, I don't think she is particularly religious. But like he said, that's not a major part of it. I don't think it matters. And again, I'm going to leave this conversation because we have one last person to speak to. Nope. Not yet. I'll come back. There we go. And Lord Chauncer de Leon. Inquisitor, imagine the frothing of the minstrels dreaming of this meeting. Frantic. I, of course, am Lord Chancer de Leon, and I am here to aid your ascension to glory in the arts of the people. I shall make you a champion. I'm eager to serve. Champions are made. Just get to it. Hmm. I'm drawn to these two. Again, there's no need to be so snappy. This guy just arrived like two minutes ago. Give the man a minute to, you know, acclimatize. Um, I shall make you a champion. Yeah, you can, you can just make champions. Champions aren't born, they're made. You can make me a champion. That seems hollow. Well noted. I can put you through the motions, but this is a way of thinking. Champion is about being a leader while also being known, respected. There are formalities, of course. Procedures, pish and tosh. All superseded as you already lead a nation. Once you set and have your standard, you shall command like you were born to it. <laughs> and of course you were. <laughs> What's the downside? My standard, like a knight or chevalier. Yeah, what's what's the downside of all of this? There's always a cost. What's the risk? Ah, the dark future of all who live by the sword. If you needed a patron, I'd say be certain you choose wisely. 
Many a head has been lost for the faults of others. But you, you are your own authority. You already lead, and I dare say your current task has enough risk. So dangers of the future when you retire as favorite of the people? Are you allergic to silks? It's good to be champion. Hmm. Uh, you mentioned a standard. You mean a literal standard? Colors. Something for you to raise, or the field, the tavern, the back house, wherever you wish. You could cut a square and claim a mere flag. But the Inquisition is no scow alerting bridges. It's a beacon. It's a final step. Symbolic. No drowning in gold to gain its strength or other tosh. I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted by, by this person. This is another person with no concern for their safety, please. That's it, walk, walk away, go do something else, there you go. Is it similar to a knight or an Orlesian chevalier? Please share a way of the field, and they can be useful. But those titles carry a certain reputation. Chevaliers are generally pricks in my experience. The people are less inclined to celebrate those backhanders. You want to be their champion. Hmm, okay. Come on. I am not committing yet. There we go. Now then, if you have been listening to me as I have been talking about Iron Ore, you should know which of these I am going for. What was it that Breaker Thram said? If you want to inspire, inspire terror. That doesn't sound anything like Iron Ore. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Iron Ore, despite the fact that she wields a hulking two-handed sword, Iron Ore is not the attack dog of the Dalish. She is the defender of the Dalish. All she wants to do is protect. So becoming a reaver, nah, not gonna happen. So that leaves champion and templar. And here's the thing, templars ingesting lyrium, mm, no, it, it just don't, no, I don't think that sits well with iron ore after everything she is giving up after everything she is doing all of the stress that she is putting on herself to to please these people to inspire hope you know after doing all of that she is not going to become a lyrium addict on top of all of that she's like no that is that is an ask too far however making a standard making a little flag iron ore can do that Iron Ore is happy to do that, so she is going to specialize as a champion. Do not delay glory, Inquisitor. You also delay the glory of those you inspire. Set your standard. Champion awaits. Uh, yeah, nothing new there. Yeah, show me the process. All right, Lord Chancellor. I'm ready to start. Of course you are. You already have. Mere formality awaits. There's a process few shows of ability to start them talking but you'll take to it just fine remember it's good to be champion mm -hmm. yes champions dueled for heraldry if i remember correctly those champions are in it's the emerald graves and the exalted plains there we go which uh, should tell you which order I'm doing the main quests in. Now then. Okay, thank you, my lord. We'll get to work on that. Oh, that's that's a mess. That is a whole ass mess. Okay, we won't go that way. Um, From here, what do I want to do next? I think... Really, the only things I have left to do... Talk to everyone... Try and get the coal banter. And find Varric on the balance. I don't want to do that one. I really don't want to do that one. I'm I'm gonna put it off. I swear down that is probably gonna be like the last thing I do. It I'm I'm a perfectionist. That's why. It'll take me ages. It will take me so long to get that done. Again, I swear down. 
There is supposed to be banter there. You know what? Let's let's get started on talking to people. And seeing as I'm trying to trigger Cole's banter. Inquisitor. Oh, hello there, Sir Dwarf. Oh, uh, pardon, pardon me, sir. Yeah, seeing as I'm trying to trigger Cole's banter. The funniest thing I've seen in years. That cat dancing around, hopping and pouncing like a fool. Made my day bright, it did. Maker knows what got into the little rat catcher. That was one of them. Okay, one has been completed. We have got one banter complete. Cole. Cole, buddy. What are you doing? Listening. Eyes rough, jangling armor hurts my ears, back aching, fingers too clumsy for knots. Wind cool like Aunt Eloise's pond, lips scalded as I sip, warmth blossoms, first kiss in the barn, what was his name? Tin jangle as the blood spills, Pierre's wrapped body on the wagon to the chantry, five more minutes, my fault. Yeah, do you, do you hear everything? Can you listen to anyone's mind like you did hers? No, they have to need me. Pain, fear, sadness, guilt, anger, hurt. Things I can fix. Can you help her? What was that? Don't harm her. Again, let's not put thoughts in his head. You know, I think Ainul would rather see what his instinct is. Can you help her? What do you plan on doing? Can you do something for her? Yes. It's okay. Nothing you did mattered. What? Who are you? They lie there, and sometimes they die, just like Pierre. You can't save them. I don't... I don't know who you are. Wait. That didn't work. Let me try again. You'll forget me in a minute. Yeah, uh, pardon? What are you going to do? Make her forget me. Then do it again, the right way. No, don't do that. Wait and watch. Again, I I think I know she's trying to get a grasp on Cole. Um actually in the in the episode where we did uh the Forgotten Boy, it was it's Cole's first quest when you get to Skyhold, you know, and everyone's discussing, ooh, should we should we let him stay? Um I was talking to Twisted Beach in the comments, and they were talking about how they had allowed Cole to kill the, the soldier or whoever it was. Um, and they were saying, oh, well, my character was a mercenary captain. They were used to making hard decisions. I, I don't think they really got what I was trying to say. Ionor didn't let Cole kill the guy because it was a hard decision and I can't make hard decisions. It was because how do I know you're not lying to me? For all Ionor knows, Cole could be a psychopath who gets off on murdering people and he could have been lying. Like, Ionor doesn't know. Obviously me, the player, Callista, hi. Um, I know that Cole doesn't lie. If Cole says this man is dying and the healers have done all they can and he'll die in agony, I know that Cole is telling the truth. Ionor doesn't. This was someone she had just yet, who just yet, just met, who could potentially be a demon saying, hey, let me kill this guy. She like, and there was no way for her to ask a doctor. Like if a doctor had been nearby, 
Like, if, if this was a tabletop game and, you know, I could have Ainor, you know, do whatever I wanted, I would have had her ask a doctor, hey, can you tell me about this guy? But this is a video game and I was not presented that choice. I either had choice A, let Cole kill the guy, or choice B, say no thank you. And because Ainor was like, well, I don't know if you're lying you could get off on killing this guy for all I know. Like, I can't tell. And she's not going to take that risk. Cole is a stranger. Cole was a stranger at the time. And so she wasn't just going to let him kill a guy because he says, oh, he's dying. How how do we know he's being honest? And this, this all ties in. That's why I'm bringing this up. Ainor wants to see what Cole does. Ainor is trying to get a grasp of who this person is. So I think, you know, I, I think she's like, she's kind of on tender hook. She's like, okay, if he's about to do anything dodgy, I'll jump in. But I want to see what his instinct is. You can't save all of them. What? Like Pierre getting sick after you snuck out to Aunt Eloise's pond. You want it to be your fault, so there's a reason, and it's not so frightening. But there is no reason. Pierre just got sick. The soldier was never going to live. It wasn't your fault. Better. They don't remember you. Nice work. Um, yeah, he he didn't do anything dodgy. Yes, there was that odd, like, he held up his hand and then there was smoke and all of that, but she didn't seem any worse for the wear. Hmm. Yeah. She doesn't blame herself anymore? Not as much. It was bouncing around inside her, closing up into a ball of wrong. Now it's open. She'll get it out. Well done. Thank you for letting me help her. It's not how a person would do it. But it helped. That's what matters. There you go. Okay. I think... I think Aino would find that very interesting. Hmm. Food... Food for thought there. With Cole. And now, now we have to run all the way back. And again, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna zigzag because, again, I know there is supposed to be stuff going on outside the armory. Hmm. Yeah, I'm getting the sneaking suspicion. I'm gonna have to... Hmm? Oh, okay, no, that's that's not the banter I'm looking for. Yeah, I get the feeling I'm gonna have to ask Cole about these things. Do -do. Something like that. Now then, Cole, my dear, um, you know what? I'm actually just about out of time, so I'm gonna stop right... Where's it goes? You know, what there. You okay, yes, I'm gonna stop right here. In the next one, we will be speaking with all our companions. And then once we've done that, we'll be on the battlements. That's going to take me ages, but you're like going to see that. And then we'll be leaving Skyhold. So we're, we're on the, um, we're on the home stretch with Skyhold. You know, we, we will be out of here sooner rather than later. You know, thank, thank you for your patience with this. But, you know, like I said, I like to take my time, but... Until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.